How do you feel about pregnancy sex? I love it. <laughs> oh, you love it? Oh. I just figured it might have been too soon to introduce my son to penis. Hi. Hey. Hey. Who are you two? What are you doing here? Uh, my name's Taylor. It's Adam. I'm Chris Michael. My name is Ben. And we're expecting our kids yeah. uh, for the first time. Yeah. When do your kids do? Uh, July 19th. Uh, mine's doing Halloween. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yo. Yeah. <laughs> mine's supposed to be due on Friday. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> How are you two feeling about being fathers? Are you nervous? I would say in the beginning it was all nerves, and then like the the closer it gets, it's just turning into pure excitement. So I'm I'm pumped. So you're first. Mm -hmm. Oh, me too. Yeah, we got like what six weeks. Yeah. I know it's right around the corner. <laughs> Would we like to start with a shot? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Got a cheers or something? To fatherhood, I don't know. Fatherhood, all right. All right, I'll ask the question then. How are you already fucking up as a soon-to-be dad? Damn. <laughs> Starting off strong. Probably just like, I don't have anything yet. I don't have like bottles. I don't have <laughs> diapers. I don't have, I have nothing. I mean, I feel that. We're waiting for a lot of it at the baby shower, honestly. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> We're like really banking on it. We're saving money. Yeah. I'm not doing the best at it. She's doing probably better than I am. <laughs> so I Bless guess, your heart, bro. Yeah, Bless I, your heart. I guess Bless that's probably, probably right where we're at in that situation. Yeah, yeah. I, I probably keep on having these expectations and conversations about how great of a basketball player my kid is. And <laughs> okay. people, so I, I've got expectations already, I yeah. guess. What about you? I don't really see me working less once the baby gets here. I feel like I'm gonna have to work more. My mind is on the money rather than focused on like, what we need to do to prepare our house. I feel that, cause I haven't, like my girl, she's been doing all this stuff around the house. She's having her whole nesting thing and I'm just, I'm just going about my day. Yeah. If you're having a boy, are you circumcising? I'm having a girl, but if I was having a boy, I'm circumcising. Yep, that's the same. I, that did it for me, so I'm, not gonna, I'm definitely gonna do it for, for my little guy. Oh man, look, man, everybody show up to the show snip. <laughs> and it's a part of the religion, you gotta. <laughs> Absolutely, I know I have questions for you, but come on, man. No. No? I, so. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We asked that question pretty early on. I'm like, well, if we're having a boy, what are we doing with that? And I was like, well, pff, cut it off. Are you kidding me? Like, that, why would you leave it on there? And then as I like looked more and more research and stuff, it's like, there's so many nerve endings in that skin. So you want to have extra sensation? Yeah. Why would I? <laughs> Listen, like, why would I, why would I take that away from him? I'm not trying to convince you at all. I, I right? want my son to be a 2.0, so he's got to be a better version of me. So you, you got to make some of the same decisions I made. My, my joint look nice. <laughs> Without a turtleneck. <laughs> no turtleneck. <laughs> what will you miss the most about not having kids? I guess the my money being mine. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. probably the biggest thing. Yeah, what about you? I play a lot of video games. So yeah. like, <laughs> okay. I know I have to take some time off of that. Fine. <laughs> ah, I know that pain, man. I play a lot too. Yeah. <laughs> so I really like to busy myself. And I think not being able to call my wife at the, like halfway through the day and be like, hey, my buddy's gonna do a side job after this. I might be home late. I'm gonna go make some more money versus like calling her in the middle of the day and saying, hey, is it okay if I do this? Like, can you take care of the kid? What will you miss most about not having kids? The recklessness? The recklessness. This is, yeah, it's much. the recklessness. Yeah. Wait, 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 what do you mean the recklessness? The, it's the reckless, it's just kind of being able to do whatever you wanted to do and not really having like any consequences, I guess, in a sense. And now you have a kid to think about and you're like, well, I can't really be doing this anymore because how will this be affect, well, one, my girlfriend, and two, our soon-to-be kid. Yeah, RIP, homie. Yeah. <laughs> RIP, <laughs> RIP, yeah. recklessness. What's something your father taught you that will not be passing down to your kid? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna just drink to that. It's cause, all right, it, yeah, man, anybody who knows my, my father, they would know that, yeah, I probably can't even say half the stuff. I'll drink just because I can't think of anything right now. Fair enough. I'll drink with you because no man left alone, you know? <laughs> I do love my dad, but we didn't have the best relationship growing up as kids. For real. Pretty much everything that I seen him do, I just know I, I do not want to be like that. Yep. I hear you. There was a point we didn't talk for a while and then just found out he had cancer. So I was like, I'd rather not, real. you know, go down that road where like I don't reconcile with my dad. Shit happens, life goes on. Yeah. 
trying to be the firm as much as I can, and then did things that I saw, learn from that, and not do the things that he did. Pretty That's much. real. Mm -hmm. That's real. That's real. I respect that. <laughs> All righty. How do you feel about pregnancy sex? I love it. <laughs> oh, you love it? Oh, oh wow. Every, okay, so like all the organs inside my wife's body are all like pushed and moved, right? And so- It's already kind of disgusting, bro. Okay, sure. I describe it as- just... But we'll just put it this way. Everything is tighter without trying. Okay. Because there's not as much space. So not only is it better for me, but it's a whole lot better for her. I'll keep it a buck, the two ain't the same. I'm a positions man. Less positions. <laughs> Less positions for the man. Yeah, <laughs> yep. But, but like, like here, here's my thing. Okay. I just figured it might have been too soon to introduce my son to penis. <laughs> because like, like when you go to the doctor visits, like when you get as close as I am, they start telling you stuff like, oh, you know, like, oh man, we're gonna reach your hand up in here and you know, see where she's at. And then they'll be like, oh man, I just touched his head. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> so that's just, <laughs> it's just, I don't know, just the whole idea of it, it just, it just. It kind of skis you up. Yeah, you know, like, like you know, let's, let's ease him in the penis. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Would you rather have a gay son or a promiscuous daughter? <laughs> I have no idea. What's up, what? you drinking or what are you, are you, you I mean, I'll drink. I'm glad I you didn't draw that card. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and I truly don't even care if my son is gay. Like, I really don't. But I don't want a promiscuous daughter. <laughs> and I'm like 100% okay with having a daughter. But I guess that's like my one fear is like, what is she gonna be like yeah. when she gets to that age and she's not my little girl anymore and I can't relate to her? Like, I don't want that. So I would definitely take gay son. All right, same question, man. Would you rather have a gay son or a promiscuous daughter? Easy, gay son. I know. <laughs> it's just, I don't even, like, even if she is promiscuous, it's like, that's just what she's gonna do, I guess. Like, I know it sucks. I know how like dudes are and stuff. Like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't want her to go through that. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, either one. I'll go fuck. That's my child. Shit. Yeah, man. As long as you my kid, while well, we good. <laughs> <laughs> what has been the worst part about your partner's pregnancy? Honestly, just your mood swings. It's more hard because that since we don't see each other as much, because she's always working and I'm always working, and the only time we ever really get time with each other is later at night. Yeah. In the day, we're not really being able to spend these first couple months, you know, with each other. My shorty, she had the, she had terrible morning sickness, so she just wasn't really, you know, capable of doing really much of anything. Mm. Honestly, like the beginning of it, she like couldn't hold any food. She was just throwing up the whole time. I felt so bad. I didn't know what to do. I had to take her to the ER a couple times, but now she's kind of like fine. Have like second trimester. All right, uh, you ready for this one? Let's hear it. Are you worried? you'll be less attracted to your partner's body post having a baby. No. Oh. I'm not worried about it. I, I, she I, a dime top of the line. To me, she is. <laughs> Say that. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. to, I, I know she's really worried about it, and she's, you know, worried about how she looks and everything and how she thinks that I feel about her, but I reassure her every single day that I think she's the most beautiful girl in the world. I Look, I echoed, but mm -hmm. you know, like that beauty's, yeah, that beauty's there to stay. That's my shorty, she's like 6'4 and petite, so she's got a little bit more room to grow anyways. So. She's 6'4? Yeah, bro, okay. I mean, I'm 6'6". I'm gonna say, if your kid's not a basketball player at this point, like, I'm a little confused of what's going on. I, I'm really pushing for that. <laughs> How are you not going to fuck up your kid? <laughs> I <laughs> know, right? <laughs> like physically? Like, <laughs> no, I'm just, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Probably not be like lazy, make sure I'm like proactive around the house, like cleaning up. Yeah. I'm gonna attempt to just try to lead by example. Mm -hmm. I just don't think I can tell my kid to do anything and expect for him to do it if I myself don't have the same discipline to be able to do it myself. 100%, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So like, how can I expect for my kid to be a reader and to read books if he doesn't see books in his home, if he doesn't yeah. see his parents reading books? I would never teach my kid how to hate because I feel like I personally think hate is taught in a household. Everyone deserves love. <laughs> deserve the love. You know? Deserve the respect. Yep. Show and, up. And even if people are disrespectful, just give them the kindness. Yeah, right. What are your three biggest fears about being a dad? I don't know. I mean, I guess the only fear I got is I really don't want to screw my kid up and make him a bad person. Our children are actually supposed to supersede us. And that's the goal. Every generation gets oh, yeah. stronger. That's what all you could throw out for your kids, have your kid be better than what you were. Or at least give them the opportunity to be a better person than what you were. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Do either of you have any fears around bringing in kids that are black? 
Oh. Of course. Yeah. Obviously the world's a little bit different now, mm -hmm. but like we still see in the news that it's not as different as we thought, you know? Mm -hmm. I just moved from Arizona to here like about yeah. like nine months ago. Arizona, we just me and Harry go to the store and then it's just like people would stare. Yeah. It's just like, I bet you don't with stuff to you growing up. Of course. Like, I, it's in your face whether you want it to be or not, you know? Mm -hmm. And like obviously there's people who want to uh, put on their blinders and say it's not there, but the reality is it's it's right there in everybody's face. Yeah. Even still today. A hundred percent. So of dude. course I have fears of raising a child mm -hmm. in, in this kind of society. Between the two of us, who seems like they will be a better father? Oh man. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna take the political route. You got it. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna do this again though. Cause I don't like that question. <laughs> That's a terrible one. I'm we, not gonna uh, say you yeah. did this, man. You did yeah. great. I uh, think we're both gonna I be great fathers. Great, man. I'm glad. He's gonna be a great dad in his own individual way, and I feel like, like I'd be a great, great dad in my dad. Own, like, own individual way. Like I'm excited to see your child in this world. Uh, as yours, as man. it is that you raise it. I'm excited to see that. Well, I have a daughter, let's sing him up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell your daughter, focus yeah. on you, homie. Yeah, he yeah. ain't worth it. Not he ain't worth it. Not he ain't worth it. <laughs> What's the over-under on my baby's due date? Does he come early? Does he come late? Tonight. Tonight. Oh. tonight. I would take tonight. If he comes tomorrow night when the Phoenix Suns play, no good, bro. <laughs> no good.